D&D players far and wide, you finally picked your race, class, and spells, and god what a journey that was. So now with your stats rolled and your backstory written, finally, David, what the f*** do they sound like? I'm Jay Mosaic, and today we're gonna find your character voice, but first I, I, I think I hear a title card. Steal from TV, movies, and media. I know, I know, stealing would be- Break the law, break the law. But that should be your MO as a D&D player, as a dungeon master or PC. But just like with transformative content on YouTube, I suggest that you give it a little bit of a tweak. For example, let's say you start with Patrick from Spongebob. The inner mechanisms of my mind are an enigma. I know, pretty good. Okay, so that's great, but let's give it a little bit more gruffness. The inner mechanisms of my mind are an enigma. Okay, sick. Now maybe let's try changing the pacing. The inner mechanisms of my mind are an enigma. Now there I think we have the makings of your new barbarian character. Now doing this is gonna be incredibly helpful because starting from scratch is difficult. Number two, pull from your backstory for your slang. People seem to focus a lot on what their D&D character sounds like, but not necessarily what kind of slang or terms that they use. I am a complete simp when it comes to Laura Bailey's rendition of Jester in Critical Role Campaign 2. The Orphan Maker has arrived. Oh dear. Where can we find you? Oh dear, oh dear. Do 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 <laughs> she delivers an absolutely unique voice, but it's really about what Jester is saying. Hey, oh, is everything okay? We're back at the house. Just wondering where you are. Let me know. We're all curious. Yeah. It's great. Do 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 do. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> She's immature, she's silly, and she says the wrong thing at the wrong time constantly, and is arguably horribly friendly when she really shouldn't be. But when it comes to her friends and really serious topics, she's incredibly kind and passionate. All of those personality traits come from her background of being incredibly sheltered, and now she has a strong appreciation for the friends that she always wanted. And the way that she speaks is informed from her stunted nature. So let's say, I don't know, your character was working on the docks. Maybe they use seafaring language in their day to day. Or maybe they're a chef and they say things like heard whenever they have to confirm something that someone says to them. Come here, you. It's raw. It's fucking raw. It's real. Okay. Or maybe if they're a seasoned warfighter. Happy birthday, soldier. I love you. D and D players, does this ever happen to you? Man, I sure love not exploding. Spontaneous human combustion has 200 sided reports and none of them own Misty Mountain gaming dice. So why risk not having them? With the wide selection of unique and stylish dice, there's absolutely a set that's gonna speak to your unique character. I mean, yeah, but what's the big deal? I can get dice anywhere. Uh oh, 201. But I'm glad you asked. We also carry leather bound books, leather bags, dice trays, pens, and even miniatures, all with free shipping within the state. Misty Mountain Gaming also supports fantastic charities from the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, the Hospital of St. Jude, and Extra Life Gaming. So not only are you getting sick dice, but you're helping people while you're doing it. Hey, thanks. I just got the Ballad of the Bar dice set. And do you feel like you're going to explode? Nope. So visit Misty Mountain Gaming today and use code MOSAIC10 to get 10% off at checkout or check the link in the description. Yo, Jay Mosaic, what's up? Yo, what's up, Damien? Okay, 202. Number three, sometimes it's what your character doesn't say. Your character voice is what we're talking about here, but I think that silence can sometimes speak louder than words. Let's say your character has a history of being screwed over by town's guards. So you and your party get into some trouble and they get captured. Maybe that character goes completely mute. So now you have an interesting standoff where your character is being questioned by the town's guard, but you refuse to say a word. Maybe another example is that one of the characters is incredibly afraid of spiders. So whenever they crop up, they whimper and they go and cower in a corner. Sometimes your character's voice isn't characterized by an extravagant speech. Number four, or make it sustainable. I've had players attempt a very deep Scottish brogue, and it's faded away by the end of the session for one of two reasons. One, it was really difficult, and they weren't incredibly good at it. And two, because their voice was getting shredded. Both of those examples are unsustainable voices. With a lot of practice, sure, it could come around, but if it's getting to the point where it's starting to hurt your voice and by the end of the session you're hoarse, I suggest that you stop. Don't tell me what I can't do! Don't tell me what I can't do! There is no use damaging your voice for a character that you might not even be playing for over a year. And make sure that if you're using a voice that you're treating it like singing. And here are a few tips how you can do that. Number one, stay hydrated, chug that agua, and keep that whistle wet. 
Number two, warm up by practicing throughout the week before the game actually comes. And number three, give yourself breaks, not even just with the practicing, but throughout the game. There's absolutely no penalty to dropping the voice or maybe dialing it back a little bit if you're finding that it's becoming a little bit difficult on your throat during that session. Maybe you do something that's a little bit dialed back or you just drop to your normal voice. Number five, have fun or else. The only metric for success when it comes to a character voice is that you're having fun. What is fun? Let me spell it for you. If your voice is safe and you think that you're being funny, but it's still awful, then you win. You won D&D. You did the thing. You had fun. Voices aren't supposed to be the law of D&D character roleplay. It's just supposed to be an addition. Some of the best D&D players I've ever seen didn't even use a character voice. They just used their own and we had a great time while playing. All right, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully some of this helps and I hope all your dice roll crits aplenty.